going. This is a multi-block build for the large centrifuge. It is a 3x3 three three structure and it takes power from the bottom. So you will need a electric motor or turbine under the bottom of it. You will need 18 of these centrifugal parts. This being the recipe for the main block, which is crystal processor Ruby times two, circuit tier six ultimate circuits times three, and one of your centrifugal parts, which is two tungsten steel gears, a tungsten steel machine casing, and four tungsten steel screws, plus a screwdriver and a wrench. So you will build this. Like I said, a three by three, main block, front, center, on the bottom. And very simple to build, very expensive, but very simple when you actually get to put it together. And that's it right there. That would make it run if I had power to it. Now it does not auto input materials so you will need um, to either do it manually or through a hopper so I put a hopper up on top that will allow things to get dropped down inside of it um, you can also pull fluids and inventory from the bottom block so put a hopper underneath or if you have fluids use a pipe with a pump on there to get out your fluids and that is basically it right there um, from the change log it is a it accepts anything from 512 to 4096 RU so you want to use at least high voltage it has a general 50% efficiency penalty but it has the overclocking penalty removed entirely. So the more power you give this, the better. No overclocking penalties after the regular 50%. So you don't, you wouldn't want to run just an HB recipe in here with HB power, or else it would be 50% less effective than just using a regular high voltage centrifuge. So for high voltage centrifuging recipes, you would want to use at least EV or higher. So if you have any questions on how this runs or anything, let me know. As you can see from the GUI, it's the basic centrifuge GUI. I have actually ran Redstone through this and it runs really, really well for doing so and dust impure dust and things like that so have a good one